He's promised now that since that worked, maybe he ought to start strongly. Let's see. Deloya with a new clothing contract, therefore a new color scheme, and also the shortest truck. Show it all, baby. What I don't like is Oscar having a war a hard All the cars got to move around, land a shot, forget about the power. Just put some of the second round of his bout with Felix back in 94. Deloya landing a left, and Deloya promised that he would not be cautious in the first round, and he is not. He's badly overtrained, George. Some of those who saw him in Big Bear saying, too much more, it'll all be affected with the accuracy of his punches. He's, and the fact that he's getting into exchanges against a stronger man. Yeah, you don't he takes do another that. left, and that left. Pick your shots and do the same thing. The setup, mount an attack, walk a few steps, set up and do it again. If you keep the jab in his face, it... But he has done. Another right hand by Carr. Obakar appearing to out. No, Obakar's got, he's got the luxury now of being able to stay in position and let your opponent come to you. That's what you want in boxing. Not he's luxury. doing a good job or a knockout. He's the champion. Good right hand by Carr. Deloya lands a little right of his own in retaliation. Carr has trouble handling that. When Deloya sits back, Carr can attack, be aggressive, and can... The only mistake is you don't want to get into exchanges with a good champion like Oscar. Good left hook inside by Carr, though, and that stopped Oscar momentarily in his track. But, but Carr is at this point beating Oscar to the punch. Yep, and he's done a good job of it. His power is. Carr being first, now Deloya coming back. Points. I agree with Larry. 28 to 28. Actually, two reds to one over Carr. Jim, I gotta test it. You gotta go along with the referee and call that. Free. He's gonna take more punches in return. Over he, he realizes he's not the best fighter in the ring tonight, and his strategy is to finish Oscar once he heard him. They trade again. He's gotta get that jab working and work on his combination and use his legs a little bit. Now the crowd begins to wake up. So they, this guy can look at you and you can hit him again with it. A little more, but again, I make my point. When Oscar doesn't throw the jab, Carr can walk to a spot he likes, set up, and mount his attack. If Oscar's a part of the inner circle, although the inner circle is going to be narrow. Oscar's got determination like no one you've ever seen. And he exerts some of that determination in going to Carr's body. Decide you're not going to listen to your people in the corner. You are. Clearly wins several rounds. It's not out of the question. And it, you just wonder why a fighter with all that craft built up over the years. Every time he touches his hand, Oscar has to start all over. In that last round, I didn't see Oscar De La Hoya doing a thing. This round, but boy, he got headbutted. So referee Richard Steele removes another point from Oba Carr to go with the point that he almost certainly lost on the knockdown in the first round. And now an angry De La Hoya comes back. De La Hoya trying. I still want to see the replay to see. And De La Hoya bouncing and more active than has been the case before. Carr lands a right hand on the swollen cheek and another one. It's stop. Because of that cut, we go to the scorecards. Yeah, okay, we all understand that, Harold, but why is Richard Steele... Bait and Richard Steele's ongoing dossier of Victor by TKO. A lot of people thought that was the right decision. People thought that was a premature stoppage. And from that moment forward, Steele has three of a major bout here. You know, everybody's entitled to make mistakes. I've never brought this up again, but since you did... Two hard left hooks by De La Hoya. Doesn't, it's not good news. And of course, with regard to Oscar, how well he moves. Why hasn't he been moving all night? Motivated to give the best effort he possibly can, and even better. Hard left hand inside by Carr. One, and then in round penalty to Carr for butting, and another point penalty for hitting low. Excellent fight. Excellent fight. 
want to do. Oscar's doing what he has to do. Don't hold him. Oh, with his left jab. Player <laughs> landed more punches. Carr threw more. <laughs> now they trade pretty equal. Oscar De La Hoya. After that first round knockdown, Carr's shown a pretty good chin. He has taken some thunderous left hooks. And is held up. Oscar's got a good chin. Well, after the 12th round of the Quarte fight, it would Look, be... He threw a left hook to the body that time. was probably the best shot of the whole night. And that left hook to the body, setting up two upper... Carr's got to make certain he stay away from the left hand of Oscar. It no doubt the support will be for Oscar's Trinidad. Right. Oscar's just can't, can't make a, he's got to be a moving target. Another left hand by Deloy and down goes Carr Three, again. Four, five, what a six, shot. Seven, oh, but Carr does not eight. want any more of that. Come to me, come to me. Well, once come again, me. that'll change come the perception get back, get back again. And Steele says that'll do it. Car just couldn't get it together, and Richard Steele stops the fight. A TKO for Deloya. Michael Buffer is ready with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino of Las Vegas, referee Richard Steele, following the knockdown, calls a halt to the bout at 55 seconds of round number 11. The winner, and still the undefeated. WBC welterweight champion of the world from East LA, the Go.